okay let me do the next problem so this is less problem more theory so just draw the diagram Young's double slit experiment diagram and then we will discuss so let us take one minute time to draw the diagram this is an easy diagram not difficult one okay so let us say the problem is asking give me the condition for maxima if I don't have any slit here, so if I don't have any uh, glass sheet here, so there is no glass sheet, initially assume that there is nothing like this, so this is not here, this is a part 2. So, before placing the glass, I can find what is the, so there is a source, this source sends light here, this source sends light here, now this source and this source are, uh, start acting like secondary source, both source are illuminated by the same source, so these two sources are current source now this can now act as a source so any point P on the screen I can get two light I can get light from S2 and I can also get light from S1 now let us see at point P two waves are reaching electric field two electric fields are reaching I am interested in what will happen to the point P either there will be maxima or minima what will be the condition so let us find because the maximum minimum condition is directly related to path difference what is this path difference up to here both have same path this is same this is same because this distance is equivalently or you can say uh, divided in the mid so this is d by 2 this is also d by 2 so this distance and this distance are equal now the only difference this is slightly longer this is slightly shorter this is the higher distance now we can find if this angle is theta this angle will also be theta this has been already discussed in the class so if this angle is theta this angle is also theta so this means this distance is d sine theta this uh, we have discussed in the class let us assume I uh, you know that this distance is d sine theta so I can say s to p minus s1 p is equals to d sine theta and d sine theta if the sine theta is very small it can also be written as d tan theta and tan theta can also be written as this distance divided by this distance that is y by d so I can write d by by d so for maxima the path difference should be equals to n times lambda either lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda so this is the condition for maxima for central maxima path difference should be equals to 0 so if I put this path difference equals to 0 that is n equals to 0 central maxima will also be guided by when you put n is equals to 0 so if you put n equals to 0 you will have y is equals to 0 so this means central maxima will be observed somewhere here on the screen that is middle let us call this point as O so central maxima will be observed at point O now the second point that is important point now if I place a glass sheet over this the path 1 so if I place a glass sheet in front of the upper slit so I can place here I can place here I can place here there is no difference I can place anywhere now so what is the path difference due to this now we have to calculate what is the path of S1P so S1P so let us say if I put this one so far so after placing the glass in front of the upper slit optical path along S1P that I am interested so you write so you write and then we will discuss ok so you see so upper slit will have now what is the path initial path is S1P now what we have done we have basically placed one T thickness glass slab so I have to replace this I have to subtract T thickness there is no nothing here so let us say S1 minus T and then I have to add the effect of glass so in glass the optical path is mu times t so total path s1p is s1p minus t plus mu t so this path is 
nothing but s1 p minus t plus mu t that is s1 p mu minus 1 into t now what is the path difference between s2 p minus optical path of s1 p that is the path difference between these two ray s2 p and optical path of s1 p we have already calculated that is s1 p plus mu minus 1 into t so this becomes s2 p minus s1 p mu minus 1 into t and we already know s2 p minus s1 p is d sin theta you see the first part s2 p minus s1 p is nothing but d sin theta so s2 p minus s1 p if i put d sin theta now for maxima i should have this path difference is equals to n lambda so this is the condition of maxima so i can solve for here y is equals to so this is nothing so y is equals to n lambda d by d plus mu minus 1 into t d by d as long as everybody knows mu is greater than 1 this term is a positive quantity this means now y will have some term plus some more term now let us compare what we are getting so you just write it out and then we will go to the next page we have to go slightly fast in this case ok so let us come to the next page uh, here I have so I think here now see in the last page I have written y is equals to n lambda d by d plus mu minus 1 into t d by d so if I have glass I can write position of nth maxima is given by this if I don't have any glass without glass position of nth maxima is given by this you see here if you don't have any glass in the previous space if you have don't any glass position of nth maxima is given by y is equals to n lambda capital D by a small d you see here y is equals to n lambda capital D will come here and by d so n lambda capital D by a small d n lambda capital D by a small d this shows now if you have don't any glass this is the nth nth maxima now if you was a glass this is the nth maxima plus some more term so this means I can say all the maximas any nth maxima has shifted up because this term is positive shifted up by this number are you getting or not so this shows any maxima has been shifted above by a distance of mu minus 1 into t d by d are you getting or not so you can see uh, with glass position of central maxima if you have a if you don't have any glass with glass the position of central maxima can be found by putting n is equals to 0 so if I have a glass where will be the central maxima we have already said for central maxima path difference is equals to 0 or you put the condition as in n is equals to 0 there are two ways to find the central maxima so with glass you want to find out the central maxima you plug the value n equals to 0 here in this expression if you put the n equals to 0 so by 0 becomes mu minus 1 t d by d so central maxima will be mu minus 1 so here you have d by d without glass central maxima will be at 0 that is the midpoint so this means you see central maxima without glass is somewhere here with glass is somewhere here so this means central maxima has shifted up but how much mu minus 1 t d by d so let us call this shift is delta p mu minus 1 t d by d this is the shift up are you getting or not so this is shift is mu minus 1 t d by d so this means if you put a glass slab on in front of the upper slit it can shift up so fringes will shift up by a amount of mu minus 1 t capital d by d this you have to remember now basically this shift can also be written in terms of width of fringe or fringe width shift can also be written in terms of fringe width fringe width everybody knows fringe width w is equals to lambda into capital D by a small d right and then we'll go to the next page so fringe width can be written as lambda into capital D by a small d so this means shift can also be written as in terms of fringe width so you go to the next page if you see here you have to write slightly fast because I have to finish this one now shift is this mu minus 1 t capital D by D and width is lambda D by D if I divide these two things so equation 1 
So let us call this equation 1, equation 2. If I divide this to equation delta p by w, I will get mu minus t by lambda. So from here delta p is equals to mu minus t by lambda into w. w is the fringe width. So this is a number. So if I plug the value of mu, t and lambda, I can find what is the numerical value of c. So let us say, uh, in a special case, let us say if mu minus 1, t lambda, y lambda comes out to be 1.5. So what is the meaning of this? So delta p will be 1.5 w. So delta p will be 1.5 w. This means fringe edge will shift up by 1.5 w. This means 1 by 1.5 fringe edge shift up. So now you see, initially there was a central maxima, central maxima was here, but now due to the glass place, 1.5 fringes will be shift up. So now central maxima will be somewhere here, 1.5 w a above. So shift fringes will be shift up by 1.5 w. Are you getting or not? So this is the meaning of, now two important points. The next point is if I put a same kind of thing glass on before the uh, after the back slit or the uh, after the lower slit fringe will shift down because you see now in this case uh, lower path will have more so same kind of calculation you will do and you will find if you place a glass lower the in front of the lower slit fringe edge will shift down. You just listen and then you write. What will happen, now this question is, what will happen if I place a glass above the upper slit as well as above the lower slit? Now, it, the fringe edge can shift up, it can also shift down depending upon which is low or greater. If mu1 t1 is greater than mu2 t2, that is mu1 minus t1, mu1 t1 into minus mu2 t2 is greater than 0, this means upper has more path. So this means fringe edge will shift up. If mu1 t1 minus mu2 t2 is less than 0, this means lower will have more. So this means fringe edge will shift down. If mu1 t1 is equals to mu2 t2, in that case fringe edge will not shift at all. So this is the all about the shifting of fringes if you place the glass sheet. You just copy it out and then we will discuss the next problem. Note it down and we will go to the next problem. I have gone slightly fast in this problem because uh, you see uh, my memory card only covers only certain amount of data. If I have not covered into this amount of time, I cannot basically regard all the videos and that's why I have gone slightly fast in this case. I think you, have, you are able to understand. Things are very easy. Only thing is what will happen. So this is the effect of placing a glass plate in front of the slit. So this is a theoretical aspect. This is not a problem at all. This is a theory. What will happen if you place a glass seat in front of the any slit? Now, if you say, if you put the slit, if you put the glass slab on the top, top slit, fringe edge will shift up. If you put this glass slab before behind the lower slit, fringe edge will shift down. Okay, we'll discuss the next problem. 